Hello everyone, and in this video, I will be going over more on the windows. And we're also going to be creating a window class to separate our window from the main class. This way, our main class just doesn't get clustered with anything for the window. So the window class will be holding variables such as uh, the width, the height, the full screen, and vsync values, while keeping the main class nice and clean and easier for us to read. So of course, we'll create a class for the window. And if the source is empty, make sure it leads up to the source. I hate it when it does that to me. And we're going to create a couple of variables here. And we're going to create a private long window and private int width and height. Now, this variable here is specifically for GLFW. And it's a pointer reference for GLFW to use and access stuff for the window. So I'm going to hurry up and create getters and setters off camera real fast for width and height and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And instead of creating two separate setters, I only created one just to make it more well easier. Instead of just using set width and then set height, you could just set size instead. So now there's one more problem. Right now, width and height is set to null. Now, this is fine if you're going to be using set size before you create the window. But it's always good practice to not have anything really set to null unless the window, the long window here, will be created in another method. So, we'll go ahead and set our size to a default of 640 by 480. And now comes the create window method. And this will initialize our window variable here. So I'm going to start off with window equals glfw create window and this is going to take in width height and it's also going to take in a title or a string so I'm going to have create window take a string called title and then I'll pass title in with glfw create window and then the last two variables will be zero. Now, this one right here, this is specifically for full screen. So it would be set to uh, GLFW get primary monitor if you want full screen. And then this variable. I believe it has something to do with multi-screen support, but don't quote me on that. Okay, so make sure you import GLFW. Oh, not OpenGL. And we have to now test if window has been successfully created. So if the window was not successfully created with this method here, it would return zero. So we can test it by doing if window equal to zero, then we'll throw a new illegal state exception and that'll be failed to create window. So essentially if window is null then we're throwing a new 
illegal state exception and you're only supposed to throw this exception if something in the code is not exactly what it's supposed to be and it basically says hey Java this isn't right close the program now and it closes the program and it gives you it'll tell you exactly where the error is by Java's standards you know it'll tell you at line what line is this show line numbers at line 16 it'll show this line of right here okay after that being said let's continue on now the next one is glfw show window and this will have our window and so if our window was not null then it'll just skip this and go continue right on and we're showing the window after we created it that's essentially all that is doing and we'll be getting errors if we don't do this and that is glfw make context current with our window variable and this allows lightweight Java game library to create our GL capabilities otherwise it would give us an error so now that we have created our window class I think it's safe to say we can get rid of this window initialize initialization up here in the beginning it's safe to get rid of this for right now and it's safe to comment this out and use it for another time so let's create our window so window I'll call it win equals new window and now we'll do win create window with the title of let's go with game now the next part is down where the first error lies and that's where we got rid of the statement for the while now it would be something simple but we haven't implemented this yet in our window class and this will be simple so back in the window class we'll have a public boolean should close and this will return glfw window should close window not equal to zero zero being false so if this was equal to zero then it's going to return false but if it was equal to one which is true then it will return true okay so now we can use win or actually not win dot should close the not being of course if this was set to true then this while loop will break so it's expecting a false with this right here instead of want and true to go on with the loop and we can leave glfw poll events as it is right now as we're not going to be having a useless function within the window for updating just to call this because it doesn't require anything within the window class so we're not going to be needing an update method in there and now comes glfw swap buffers of course we haven't implemented this yet in the window class so I'm going to cut this and I'm going to go into the window class and I'm going to create a new method public void swap buffers 
And of course, I'm going to paste that here. And it's going to pass in window instead of win. So now we can do win.swap buffers. So now we should be able to run and we should still get the same results as last time before we even started this whole window class. All right. Now that that's finished, let's actually change the window size real fast. So above the window create window method, we'll use win.setSize. And let's go with uh, 100 by 100 for a test. And here is our, oh, that's a glitch with Windows 10. <laughs> All right, so here is our window. It was originally sized like this. There's a little glitch with Windows 10 here. But anyways, the set size works like it's supposed to. So I'm just going to get rid of this now. And as a bonus, let's have our window create itself in the center of the screen. Throughout the whole tutorial series, our window hasn't been set to the center by default, which means it'll spawn anywhere from right here to over here, and it'll just it'll just create itself in like a random position on the screen practically. And that's not what we want. Instead, what we want is the window to be centered so our user's focus can go directly onto that screen instead of having to drag it to the center. So before we have glfw show window, we'll create a glfw vid mode, and I'll just call it vid equals glfw oh, glfw get video mode and this is going to take glfw get primary monitor and so what this is doing here is it's getting the video mode so it's it's getting all the variables from within the monitor so we're given, we're telling GLFW to get every bit of data about our, our monitor and putting it in a video mode here. So we have access to, let's see, we have access to the blue bits, we have access to the green bits, red bits, the width of the screen, the height of the screen our refresh rate of the screen and it it's pretty powerful and to set the window to center position we use glfw set window pos and we'll pass in our window and let me just organize this here real fast and for xpos inside of parentheses we're going to use vid dot width minus width and then divide this by two so this is going to put our window in the center of the width of our screen and it's the same equation for the y pos as well vid dot height minus height in parentheses divided by 2 so this should center our screen or our window as it does right here so if I just so happen to set the window size size back to uh, 100 100 
we get this. It's in the center of the screen. Let's see if it goes any lower. Probably not. Yeah, I knew it. It doesn't go any lower. Well, the X position, that is. The width. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And in the next video, I will be going over full screen. And until then, why don't you try to implement full screen by yourself? And here's a little hint case I might have forgot to give this back beforehand. Replace this zero with GLFW get primary monitor. I'll see you in the next video where we will implement full screen. And I'll see you.